I, um, uh, it was a bittersweet loss. Uh, defense came out. We played physical. Uh, we did. We didn't do enough, I should say. Uh, there's a lot of improvement. There's improvement on all phases of the game, but uh, to give up the last play like that as a defense, um, yeah, uh, very disappointed. Um, but uh, we have to bounce back from it. We have a 24-hour rule. We watched the tape uh, yesterday and Sunday, and we just on to the next week. What are you looking forward to about this week? Uh, just n knocking them off, really. Uh, going down there. Last time we was in LA, um, we came back. Uh, we painted the Rose Bowl red, so now it's time to paint the Coliseum red, even though they're red, but you know what I'm saying? Red wave. Different red. Yeah. So you play your first ball game at USC. So kind of just reflect on how much of a different of a player and a person you are going in there now as a senior. Um, I was. I want to say confidence. Um, I'm going in there with extreme confidence. Uh, three years ago. Um, I was a freshman, like you said. Uh, really didn't really didn't think I was going to get a chance to actually play, and I actually did. Got my feet wet a little bit, but uh, like you said, I, I improved. Uh, the game got slower. I got bigger. I got faster, and now it's time for them to now it's time for them to see what I'm all about. Obviously, they have a pretty explosive offense. Yeah. So what have you been focusing on this week? Uh, just just our keys and techniques. Um, we're, we're really worried about ourselves. We, we really want to get a turnover on defense. Uh, we yet to have that. Uh, that's a big emphasis that uh, Coach Coyle put in the, de uh, the defensive room uh, as a whole. We get a takeaway, one or two, that could be the difference in the game. So um, uh, today in practice, we was working on a lot of takeaway things, a lot of turnover drills. Uh, so we're going to get one. I think pretty good, you know, uh, just hearing what Vail said, you know, we got a 24-hour rule, um, you know, not, not, you know, really thinking about the game too much after it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a tough loss. It's only second game of the season, though. Uh, we got, you know, eight more games, hopefully ten more games, you know, with the championship and the bowl game. But, you know, just everything that we do, um, you know, it's, it's with, you know, full effect of the schemes. Uh, we know what we're doing on the offense. Uh, you know, we obviously want to put points up on the board. Um, and that's a, a big emphasis for with us uh, every week, you know, going to the games, going to Saturdays. Uh, we just want to put points up on the board. So, you know, just being able to come out here uh, last year, you know, put 30 points up on the board. Uh, I feel like this week you want to put up more. But, you know, it starts with us and the details that we have. Do you feel like these are lessons that you'd rather learn in the second game of the season than at the end? Yeah, definitely. You know, just, you know, being able to learn more. You know, we have young, a lot of young players, too. Uh, you know, a lot of young players playing. You know, I remember my freshman year playing. Um, we got a couple wins early, a couple losses early. You know, you you win, you you uh, learn from a lot of, you know, your losses before you win. You, you learn from your loss, uh, your wins. So, you know, I feel like, you know, being able to come out here um, and, and learn off of what we did last week, um, I feel like this week, you know, we're, we're very detail-oriented. Uh, I think we're going to come out here this week. Um, you know, just put, put a performance out. Lastly, you had your first game in the Coliseum. Now you're going in there as a senior. Just how different are you as a person and as a player going into the Coliseum for a second time? Uh, I think, you know, my mindset changed. Uh, you know, just being way more confident than I was, you know, coming out of high school. You know, your first games in the Coliseum. So I feel like, you know, being able to come out this year, um, you know, I have a lot of games under my belt, um, a lot of catches, a lot of touchdowns. So I feel like, you know, just being able to come out this time, you know, more confident in my game, uh, in myself, um, my role in this offense, my role in this team, being a leader, um, and just, you know, being able to trust, you know, what Kirby has you know, in store in the game plan, um, trusting Jake, trusting the team. Um, and that's really all it is. You know, we just got to trust the process. Lastly, what are you looking forward to most? about the experience as a whole? Um, I think, you know, just being able to go back there, you know, my dream school, I'm, I'm a big fan of Reggie Bush, which is the reason why, you know, I wear the number five. Um, so, you know, being able to go back to the Coliseum, you know, it's always a, a dream come true playing there. Um, but, you know, being able to come play, um, and play there in a, in a different uniform, uh, I remember when, you know, just watching the USC Fresno State game, uh, watching highlights of it all the time and just seeing, you know, what he did. Um, and being on the other end of it this time, you know, I just feel like, you know, being able to go in there um, is definitely going to be a dream come true. Just how exciting is it to not only go to the Coliseum, but to play against your former team this weekend? Definitely a uh, great opportunity, you know, great opportunity for the team. You know, we're looking forward to it. Just, um, it's just another game, you know, we approach it the same. You know, it's always great to go back home, you know, born and raised in SoCal. So uh, just a great opportunity for the team and, you know, just ready to get after it. And the opportunity to move on from, you know, the final play of the game against Oregon State, just how hungry is this defense to kind of prove something down there? Uh, yeah, it was just, it was devastating looking back at it, back at it, but uh, something we, we learned from, you know, 
looking back uh, the day after and going over the film. Um, but we put that behind us, you know, moving forward. You know, we approach this, this next game even more hungrier. And, um, you know, it's definitely something we regret. You know, definitely thought we were a better team. Should have won that game. But um, we move on from it and just uh, ready to attack the next game. What challenges do you think USC presents? And what does your defense need to do to make sure you guys come out on top? Um, it's really no challenges, you know, just another team. You know, they, they, they're talented. You know, we're also talented. Um, just another team. We approach it the same. Um, one of our emphasis this morning is uh, making making the job easier for the offense. You know, setting them up field position, getting tur turnovers, or even scoring on on defense. You know, um, that will make a great impact on the game and something we emphasize this morning. So I gotta ask, why did you move on from USC and decide to come here to Fresno State? Um, it's a lot of things. Uh, it was a great opportunity here. Um, a lot of changes at USC. Um, so, you know, it, was, it gave me the opportunity to enter the portal and I felt like, you know, had a lot of opportunities in the Mount West and a few in Pac-12 and just the Valley st stuck out to me, you know, coming here and taking my visit here and meeting coaches and having a, you know, a few players at the at the dinners and, you know, just building that chemistry from the jump. Um, I felt like the Valley and Fresno State stuck out the most. So just a great opportunity, a great fit for me and I loved it since then. What do you think it is that sets you apart in your position? Um, we're, you know, uh, as a defense, as a team, you know, um, I feel like there's not, you know, there's not so much, you know, um, individuals. You know, we, we look, we approach, approach uh, our opponents as a team, you know, um, I don't think anything sets me apart. You know, I'm just another, you know, teammate and um, collectively we can't, we can't do anything, you know, if we don't have the brothers next to us. So as a defense, you know, we look at this as uh, at this game as another opportunity, and um, just ready to get at, get after it. I know Lavelle Bailey is your roommate, correct? Yes. You spoke highly of like how much you offered him as far as advice. I mean, how much how much does it mean to have Lavelle Bailey kind of walk you through this Fresno State process and you know introduce you to the Bulldog tradition? Uh, it's been great. You know, I'm, uh, met Lavelle Bailey my first visit here, and um, our chemistry is built since then. And um, just having an opportunity to to uh, be, you know, playing next beside a, a great guy and uh, that has a lot of experience, you know, and knows the game a lot. So, you know, it's, it's good to have him as a roommate. You know, we build off of each other, you know, get to learn a lot of things from him. And, you know, it's just just a great chemistry we have. Raymond, you mentioned this is another game, but the fans don't view it that way, right? Do you get a sense of how the fans are like, okay, it's an opportunity against the top 10 team, top seven team in the country? Like, does that permeate down to you guys? Yeah, definitely. You know. Um, you know, we don't really look at the ranking, but um, yeah, we do approach it as another team, but uh, we understand, you know, what type of team they are. We understand what type of scheme they are, what type of uh, type of talent they have. And, you know, we feel like we match up just as well. And, you know, that's why we approach it, you know, just as another team, you know, and um, it's a great opportunity to go out there and, you know, just, just let it all out. And um, that's how we approach it. You know, it was just another team, another opportunity. You were asked about uh, your transition here coming from you know, USC to, to Fresno State, but I'm curious if you could just you know, summarize for us about your time at USC. What did you like about it? What, uh, what stood out to you as memories, uh, either positive or potentially negative, if you want to share that? No, it was, uh, it was a great experience. You know, got the opportunity to enroll 2018 as an early enrollee. Uh, had the great um, opportunity to be coached by a lot of great coaches. You know, um, had a lot of changes in our coaching staff since my freshman year, but um, you know, got to learn a lot, you know, gained a lot of knowledge from, you know, different coaches and got the opportunity to play different positions. And uh, it was just a great experience, you know, the, uh, the pride and tradition they have there, you know, learning from, you know, the old guys, the alumni. They always came, came around and visited. So um, nothing but great things to say, you know, a lot of great experiences from USC and um, definitely something I'll remember forever. What do you remember about that 2019 game against Fresno State? Uh, I remember I was, I was, I think I read, yeah, I red shirted. Um, I was on the sideline, but um, it was a big experience. Um, you know, Fresno State came out, you know, it was a fight, you know, close game. Um, and we just pulled through. So, um, you know, hats off to that, you know, that, that team and that, that year, you know, definitely um, great team, great opportunity. And, you know, it was, it was definitely a dog fight that game. I remember it like it was yesterday. Do you remember? Um the end of that game, 
the pick in the end zone at the end? Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, just a lot of emotions. But um, I, I tip my hats off to the, to the Fresno State uh, team that year because uh, I could definitely say, you know, you guys were, you know, the underdogs and, you know, you guys brought out a fight, a fight and uh, it was definitely, it was, it was a game to remember. More questions for Ray? Yeah. Last one is just, you know, you've played on the Coliseum in this grand stage before, but for some of your teammates, this will be your first, their first time down. Have you had any conversations about what that experience is like heading down to the Coliseum? Um, not really, but um, just, just another, just another stadium, you know, big atmosphere, you know, uh, bigger stadium, bigger, 